if you want to see my opinion on this reel, the unboxing, and the first time me ever casting it, go ahead and click on the link right here. What's going on, Yak Fam? Hey, today I'm going to do a little how to video. I am new to bait casters, okay? I just started using bait casters, but I fell in love with 13 fishing reels, okay? That's why I have this Concept Z. I just got it out of the box. I am about to set it up the way. I set it up, I guess. If you have never used a bait caster, I really highly suggest you try it. It's frustrating. I promise you, it is frustrating. But once you get it down, man, bait casters are really fun. They just feel really nice in the hand. So first thing, with me, I am a right-handed person, okay? A lot of people buy a right-handed bait caster because they're right-handed. But if you're used to open face reels, you might be cranking or retrieving with your left hand, right? So then why would you change it up with a bait caster? In my opinion itself, I keep my reel or my bait caster in my right hand and I have left hand retrieve. So this way, it's all a fluid motion, right? Most right handed bait casters, what they'll do is they'll take their rod, they'll put it in their right hand, They'll cast it, they'll switch it back to their left hand, and reel, okay? All your muscle is not in your left arm. All my muscle is in my right arm. So, I eliminate all those extra steps. I get a left-handed bait caster, I keep it in my right hand, I'll cast it, and I'm already retrieving, okay? I'm already on the fishing, stuff like that. So, that's one thing to consider when buying a bait caster. Another thing, this is your tension screw, our tension knob right here. All right, this is what's gonna control your line speed. On some bait casters, you'll have a braking system on the outside. The 13 Fishing has it sealed underneath most of all their plates and they're right there. I'm gonna start my brakes at zero. After I start my brake at zero, what I'm going to do is I'm going to reel up the slack in my line. Now be careful, I have a, a leader on this line, so it might get snagged on one of your eyes. But what you do is you'll click the button and you'll let it drop, okay? See how mine snags on my eye? So we'll roll up to the eye. I'm getting a little bit of bird's nest already. What we're doing is we're just dropping the line. Once it hits the ground, it shouldn't bird's nest on you, okay? So you'll just keep tightening. I suggest tighten this all the way, and then just hit that button, and just loosen this until it slowly just starts going down see how that just bird's nest a little bit it might be a little bit too fast okay for you at the beginning but eventually you'll start putting your thumb on the spool just like that and you'll just use your thumb as a little break <laughs> so with it set up let's give it a cast real quick see what happens First cast down and no break, no, no bird's nests. First cast, right? Now we're going good. And one of the Facebook pages that I follow, Texas Kayak Fishing, somebody mentioned about what is the left hand doing when we're fishing, okay? They see it come over here to the rod. 
with me, okay? I want to show you two ways I cast, okay? One, just single-handedly. All this right here, you got to keep in your hand. So you lose control and you don't want to cast as hard because you don't want to throw the whole rod out of your hand. So you don't cast as far, right? You don't have the power just by doing it with one hand. What we're going to do is use two hands now, and this is the normal way I cast. This way I have control of the rod, okay? I have control of the reel, and I'm not afraid to heave it out there. Hopefully, this is coming up on video good enough, where you can see me and that reel, how I threw it out there that far. All right, Yak fam. Hopefully this little bit of information that I was able to give you helps you out. I highly recommend you trying a bait caster out. They are fun. They are a pain in the butt. But once you get them narrowed down and toned just right, it's a beautiful, beautiful fishing reel. Remember guys, it's always about friends and family.